What's up guys and welcome to this tutorial about crafting. Um, so in order to set up crafting, all we need to do here is go to inventory system, crafting blueprint, and then we want to create a child out of crafting main. So we can right click here, do create child. I can call it something like BP my crafting station, for example. And then of course I can place it in the world. Let's go ahead and open our blueprint here and it is based on uh, the character blueprint, but you can always go to BP crafting main and change the uh, actor class to be maybe a simple actor. So in order to uh, set up crafting here, we need to select the crafting widget here uh, or crafting uh, widget component. And we need to indicate the available craft items right here. Um, so these are items from the data table. So if we go, for example, to our weapons data table, we have these weapons, for example. So the pickup data tables, we have um, not only weapons, of course, we have armor, uh, etc. So any uh, pickup, of course, from these data tables, it can be added to our crafting um, uh, station here. So we can, for example, take this um, bow uh, right here. So we can copy the item ID and then go here to our uh, crafting widget component and then click on the plus sign and then expand that one and then add the item ID there once we indicate the item ID, we also need to indicate where this item exists, which is in the weapons data table. We can indicate a custom image here. If not, then the image from the data table will be used instead. Um, also, we can take, for example, this Omega sword, go ahead and copy the item ID like so, and then click on the plus sign there and add the weapon there. And of course, this one exists in weapons, of course. They don't all have to be uh, to be in one data table. We can also add maybe armor, for example. So armor, which of course exists in the armor data table. So, so far we can go ahead and play, interact with our crafting weapons. Uh, that's the name, we can change that. And as you can see, it shows the um, items that we added there. Let's go ahead and change the name of our crafting uh, station. So I'm going to simply say crafting station and later we'll see some other settings that we can play around with like the outline color and the interaction distance in order to indicate what ingredients are needed for crafting we need to uh, we need to do that inside the data table itself so for example this uh, bow right here if we, if we scroll down here we should have a section called materials needed so this is the uh, crafting section this is how many items you will receive so in, the, in our case here it's a bow so we only need one item Material needed, this is where you indicate what materials are needed. Uh, of course, these materials are also just pickups. So for example, we have our ingredients or resources here, crafting resources, and we have a bunch of materials. And we can also have weapons as part of a recipe. So for example, we can say that material three, for example, we can simply copy the item ID and in here, select the bow and here material needed, we can indicate material three and how many. So we need, for example, 10 and maybe uh, another material needed, maybe material one, for example. Maybe say we need 15, for example. And as for the Omega sword here, we can say, for example, here um, that it takes 10 seconds to craft and material needed are a short sword. So in this case, we're gonna include an item or a weapon as part of the recipe. So we only need one short sword plus 10 material uh, for material three. And once again, materials are also just pickups. So uh, let's actually go ahead and look for our materials here. Let's go ahead and place some materials here. And if I want to change the count by default, I can uh, select the pickup, go to the details panel and a new count here, I can override the minus one. So minus one means take the count from the data table. But in our case here, we're going to override that and indicate 20 there. Let's go ahead and give it a try. And right now, if I interact with the crafting station, as you can see, it's grayed out. This is how much I need and this is how much I have. So let me go ahead and pick up these materials and interact with the crafting station. And as you can see here, it says that I have 20 of material three and one, and I only need 10 and 15. So these are craftables. So these right here can be crafted, whereas this one cannot. So I do have material three, but I don't have a short sword. So if I click here, craft, and I can always at any point walk away and it will cancel the crafting uh, process. I can also click craft, close the window, and, and that will also cancel the crafting uh, process. So I can go ahead and craft right there and wait for the bow to be crafted. And of course, the duration is also set inside the data table. Once the crafting is complete, it will automatically refresh the information about what items you have. And in this case, we don't have material one, we only have five. 
but we need 15. In this case, we want to craft the Omega Sword, but we also need a short sword as part of the recipe. So let's go ahead and pick that up. And if I go here, as you can see now, I can craft the Omega Sword right there. And if you see there, it says stats and known. So this one will actually roll random stats for these crafted items. So uh, this right here rolled 377 to 449 as attack and some crit chance and lifesteal. So if I craft another weapon, it will actually have different stats. Um, and so of course that, that can be controlled or indicated in the uh, crafting right here. So if I open my crafting station and uh, as you can see here, it says roll random stats. If I go ahead and disable that and then play, so as you can see here, it says, uh, now it shows what stats we're gonna get. So these are the fixed stats indicated inside the data table. These are not random, so you always get these. If you haven't watched the pickup tutorial, uh, go ahead and watch that to understand more about uh, stats and random stats. So some other settings here we have, um, if we go to class settings, we have some interfaces here. So we have our outline interface. We can override some functions, for example, override function and say, we can look for outline color. So we have get outline color, and this is the color that we will, um, or the outline color when you uh, put your cursor on the item or when you, in third person, when you're, uh, of course, looking at the uh, crafting station. For example, we can do something like this. And now if I go ahead and play, and if I put my cursor, as you can see, that's the color or outline color of the uh, crafting station. Of course, this one works for, uh, for everything including pickups, uh, loot containers, even AI as well. Also, we can override the distance that is acceptable to interact with the, uh, with the actor in general. And that would be get acceptable distance. For example, if I, if I put like a thousand there, I should be able to interact with the crafting station from here. As you can see, I don't have to walk to the uh, actor all the way. I can just click here. So that would be the distance. And this also applies to pickups and anything else in the world. And that's pretty much it for crafting. It's pretty straightforward. You, you simply select the crafting widget component and just indicate whatever items you need to craft. And everything else is inside the data tables. The item ingredients are indicated inside the data table. So everything is ID based. So any item can be used as a crafting uh, or uh, as a part of a crafting recipe. So I think that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to watch the other videos to learn more about the system. So until the next one, thank you guys for watching and see you later. Goodbye.